new haircut and remote studio. So this weekend I'm down visiting my father, so that's always a great chance to do some videos for you guys. This is also why the scenery is a bit different than uh, what you're used to. I got a few questions about how you are getting Litchi onto the smart controller. This could be very useful for you that wants to play around with Litchi as it is a super nice solution to have it running here on the smartphone. Unfortunately, DJI decided to sort of cripple the Android version that is running on this device, so there's no Play Store available. But luckily there are other alternatives you can install the Amazon uh, App Store that will allow you to install the Litchi app onto the device. That will cost you additionally $25 if you already purchased it uh, through the Google uh, Play Store, but this is by far the easiest solution uh, to get it uh, onto the smart controller. So let me just show you how that works. Start by launching the Lightning browser, then type in Amazon App Store, download, you go under <clears throat> this selection. Get the Amazon App Store and press download. So now it downloads the APK to the device and we can pull down this one and we can take the exclamation mark here and see the progress of the download. The Amazon App Store is an alternative to the Google Play Store and you will be able to sideload a lot of the same APKs as you can through the Google Play Store by using this one. So now we press on the icon here and then we install it and we press open. So now we have the Amazon App Store on the device. It only works in horizontal as it is right now. So, And uh, you need to press already a customer if you're already a customer of Amazon, which I probably would assume most of us are. And then you're typing in your credentials, then press sign in. And then you can simply search for Litchi, Litchi app for DJI drones. And because I already purchased it, it doesn't show the price. I can simply press install. So now it's work in progress. It's downloading the APK from uh, the Amazon App Store. Getting Litchi onto the smart controller was working before. But because Litchi prior to this was in a beta state that would allow it to connect to the Mini 2, among others, as well as the Air 2S and the SE, it was not possible because the beta version was not available in the Amazon App Store. But with the Litchi out of the beta state, it is now publicly available also in the Amazon App Store. So by downloading it now to the smart controller, it will actually work. I will show you once the download has completed. So now download is completed, we press install, and now it's doing its thing, installing the Litchi app on the smart controller. And this is uh, the generation one of the smart controller. I don't know if this is possible on the RC Pro, that is uh, the newer generation of uh, this uh, device. So once that's done, we press open and we get to the front screen of Litchi. And we press allow and give it all sorts of permissions here. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna fire up and see if it actually works. It's doing something here. Downloading database. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> so it works nice, that's pretty easy, but it will cost you $25 to get it on here because it requires a new license for Litchi. So this is by far the easiest way to do it. So now there's absolutely no excuse if you own the smart controller not to get out and play around with some of the great features that are offered by Litchi, where you can do waypoints, you can do active track, you can do follow me and all sorts of other great stuff that will enhance the fun that you can have with your drone. In case you wonder how good tracking and active track is actually working on the drone, I've published a video that shows you by example the difference between active track and follow me mode. In case you missed that, I'll make sure to link that through this card. Also, if you're interested in some of the other exciting things that you can do with third-party apps together with your Mini 2, I have compiled a... Okay, I've compiled a playlist with all the great videos that I made around this topic, and I will make sure that you can access those through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you around.